2016. He is visit so he is visiting with his wife Vasumati Mataji and son Hari. So please welcome uh, them by chanting loudly three times. Hari bol, Hari bol, Hari bol. Thank you. So Hare. without taking and delaying more, uh, I will ask uh, Hari Pastor Prabhu to please proceed with the uh, session. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Pradyumna Prabhu, for the kind introduction. And I'd sincerely like to thank all the devotees in the temple who are kindly organizing so many nice events in the temple, especially Sri Hari Vilas Maharaj, Damodar Prasad Prabhu, and uh, Tarak Prabhu. Thank you so much, dear devotees, for kindly being present here. I'll begin with a short kirtan, and then we'll begin the presentation on Sri Rama and Niti. Hare Krishna. Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jai Gopi Jana Vallabha Giri Jai Gopi Jana Vallabha Giri Vardhari Yashodanandana Braja Janaranjana Yashodanandana Braja Janaranjana Yashodanandana Braja Janaranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachari Yeah. 
Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, dear devotees, for kindly being present here today. I am very grateful to each and every one of you for kindly being here. And uh, today I'd like to present a topic on Sri Rama and Niti. But before I begin speaking something, it is Shishta Parampara, it is the tradition to begin with Mangala Charan, auspicious invocations, so that any obstacles on the path of speaking and hearing are removed. So I'll begin with auspicious invocations. Most of us know these verses. You can kindly sing along with me. Om Jnana Timirandhasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Soyam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadandigam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapadakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitamscha Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashatya Deshatarine Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratushe Namah he Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrashabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpata Rubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Evacha Patatanam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Shula Prabhupada Ki Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrindaki Nithai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari So welcome dear devotees to this special presentation on Sri Ramayana Niti or the wisdom that is given in Sri Ramayana. This is the first part and tomorrow there is the second part which will be held as a home program and uh, but today we will begin discussing something about the Niti or wisdom that is given in Sri Ramayana. Before I begin, I'd like to start by a statement by Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada says something in the purport to Srimad Bhagavatam 8th Canto. He says, Lord Sri Ramachandra, by his practical example, showed how to live for the benefit of all human society. He fought with demons like Ravan. He carried out the orders of his father and he remained the faithful husband of Mother Sita. 
Thus, there is no comparison to Lord Ramachandra's acting as an ideal king. Indeed, people still hanker for Ram Rajya, a government conducted like that of Lord Ramachandra. The devotees, Prabhupada is very clearly saying in the purport that the ideal character in human society was portrayed by Bhagwan Shri Ram and even today people hanker to have Ram Rajya or a government organized under the leadership of Shri Ram because that is the ideal government especially in today's age life has become very difficult for those of us who are residing in this age of Kali Yuga. There's a very nice verse in Sanskrit literature which describes how life has become in Kali Yuga. And this verse is in front of us. I will try to sing this verse, dear devotees. Please try to repeat after me. This verse is in the meter, Shardula Vikriditam, same as Shad Goswami Ashtakam. I'll try to sing it. Please repeat after me, line by line. Nirvirya prithvi niroshadhi rasa Nicha mahatvam gata Nirvirya prithvi niroshadhi rasa Nicha mahatvam gata Bhupalan is a karma dharma rahita ve prakumar gerata. Bharya bhartra virodhini praburapi. Krodhena Purna Sada Ha Kashtam Kalu Vartate Kali Yuge Dhanya This verse describes the life that we are living in today's day and age in Kali Yuga. Nirvirya Prithvi. The entire earth has become devoid of any strength. It does not produce good fruits and vegetables. Nirvirya Prithvi. Niroshadhi Rasa. It does not give good medicines or, you know, good plants. Nicha Mahatvam Gata. And those who are the lowest in human society, those people have attained the highest positions in the society. Nicha, the lowest people, character-wise, have attained the highest position in human society. Bhupala, the kings and rulers, Nija Karma Dharma Rahita, they are devoid of any sense of what should be done and what should not be done. Vipraha, and the Brahmanas, Kumar Gerata, they are walking on all the incorrect paths in life. Bharya Bhartra Virodhini. In today's day and age, there is always conflict between the husband and wife. Prabhurapi Krodhena Purnaha. And there is so much problem that even the deities at home have become full of anger. Ha kashtam khalu vartate kali yuga. My goodness, what difficulty there is in this age. Dhanya nara. Only one person is happy. Ye mrita, he who is dead. Only one person is happy. Somebody who is already dead. So, this is the translation of the verse. The earth is devoid of all strength and medicinal power. The ruffians have attained greatness. The kings and rulers are devoid of their karma and dharma. The brahmanas walk on incorrect paths. 
द हजबेंड एंड वाइफ आर कॉन्स्टेंट एनिमीज ऑफ ईच अदर एंड द डीटीज आर ऑल्सो फुल ऑफ एंगर अलास वॉट मिजरी एग्जिस्ट इन कलयु का फॉर्चुनेट आर दोज हु आर ऑलरेडी डेड दियर डिबोरीज इवन इन कलयुग देर इज स्टिल वन लेग ऑफ रिलीजन स्टैंडिंग देर आर ओरिजिनली फोर लेग्स ऑफ रिलीजन बट इन कलियुग स्टिल वन लेग ऑफ रिलीजन इज स्टैंडिंग अमंग्स द फोर एंड डज एनी बडी नो विच लेग ऑफ रिलीजन इज स्टिल स्टैंडिंग इन दिस एज ट्रूथ सत्यम इवन टूडे इट इज पॉसिबल टू स्पीक the unadulterated 100% truth and that is the reason why the ramayan gives us the truth and nothing but the truth in that phrase the truth and nothing but the truth is very important because truth may sometimes become mixed with falsities so we need to say truth and nothing but the truth that is what shri ramayan gives even in today's day and age the ramayan is actually an eternal literature because the author shri valmiki himself has given a benediction to his own literature ramayan and this benediction is as follows i will recite the verse please repeat after me yavad stasyanti giraya सरित महीतले तवद्रायण कथा लोकेशु प्रचरिष्य यवत्स्थास्यंति गिर वाल्मीकि सेज एज लॉन्ग एज द माउंटेन्स आर स्टैंडिंग ऑन दिस प्लैनेट सरित mahitale and as long as there are rivers on this planet tavat till that time ramayana katha lokeshu pracharishyati till that time ramayan will be popular amongst the people of this world as long as the mountains and rivers exist till that time ramayan will be sung amongst the people of this world this is the benediction that shri valmiki has been given in the ramayan the narrations of ramayan will prosper as long as mountains and rivers exist in this world therefore dear devotees even though so many millions of years have passed since valmiki muni wrote shri ramayan still shri ramayan is available to us as it was written millions of years ago in the age of treta Ramayan was written in Treta Yuga and it survived for all these years and today we have it in Kali Yuga with us and the Ramayan gives us that one quality that one leg of religion which is still standing in Kali Yuga and what is that leg of religion truth satya satya is still available through Shri Ramayan the Ramayan begins on a negative note dear devotees and this negative note is described in the ramayan itself the author of ramayan shri valmiki muni on one particular day was walking on the bank of a river and on the bank of the river it was beautiful spring season and he saw a couple of birds a male and female bird crouncha which is uh crane and these crane birds they were enjoying themselves on the bank of the river in the spring season they were merry making on the banks of the river in the spring season valmiki muni was very happy but suddenly a ghastly scene occurred at that particular point of time one arrow came and shot one of the crouncha or crane birds killing the crane bird instantly and the other bird 
was in deep despair at this point of time because it had lost its life partner and both of them had come to the river bank attracted to each other but the arrow of the hunter had killed one of the two birds the devotees at this point of time valmiki muni saw the hunter who had thrown the arrow and killed one of the birds and valmiki muni spontaneously happened to curse this particular hunter this hunter was named nishad so valmiki's curse is mentioned in the ramayan itself this is the curse of valmiki i'll sing please repeat after me manishad pratishthatvam agam shashvati sama yat krauncha mithuna, mithuna dekam avadhi kam mohitam ma nishad pratishthatvam agamah o nishad may you never attain any stability and peace shashvati samah for the long years of eternity i curse you may you never attain stability and peace why yat krauncha mithuna dekam because from the couple of krauncha or crane or heron birds you killed one of them avadhi kama mohitam who was attracted to the other bird out of love so you killed one of them therefore i curse you this is the translation o nishad may you never attain any stable peace for the long years of eternity for you killed one of the two crouncher heron birds that were overcome with the desire to mate valmiki muni went to his ashram and valmiki muni felt depressed in his heart because he thought he had just fallen a victim to anger and he was not supposed to easily fall victim to anger so valmiki felt depressed at heart he went to his ashram but in his ashram he got a darshan of shri brahma and shri brahma came and told him actually what you uttered through your mouth was not a curse actually it's a benediction what is the benediction he said kindly see the curse that you uttered let's see it again i'll sing it please repeat after me मानिषाद प्रतिष्ठात्व अगम शाश्वती सत्क्रौंच मिथुना देक अवधि काम मोहित the devotees the term ma also refers to lakshmi devi just as we have the term madhav madhav means husband of lakshmi so the term ma refers to lakshmi devi and nishad refers to shelter so ma nishad refers to shelter of lakshmi or shelter of sita devi who is bhagwan ram himself this is the other meaning of the verse ma nishad or shelter of ma or shelter of sita devi pratishthatvam agamah may you attain prosperity and peace for long years of eternity it's a benediction unto bhagwan ram why yat krauncha because amongst the two demons ram ravan and mandodari you killed one of them ravan who was kama mohitam who was attracted by lust towards sita devi so this was actually a benediction so this is the hidden meaning behind the verse ma nishad o lakshmi shelter o shri ram may you attain stable prestige for the long years of eternity for you killed one of the two crouncher demons named ravana who was overcome with lust and then shri brahma told valmiki that your literature will actually describe all the seen and unseen pastimes of shri ram 
and will be full of teachings of dharma and satya will be full of teachings of truth and the path of dharma dear devotees there are many teachings of dharma many teachings of niti many teachings of wisdom that are given in shri ramayan this is because the ramayan is actually non different from shri ram it is said ved vedye pare pumse jate dasharath atmaje ved ha prachet sadasi sakshad ramayan atmana when the supreme personality of godhead bhagwan ram appeared as the son of dasharath at the same time the vedas too appeared from the mouth of valmiki the son of pracheta so the ramayan appeared at the same time as bhagwan ram and valmiki himself said ramayanam ved samam ramayan is non different from the vedas actually the ramayan is nothing but bhagwan ram in the form of words and there are many teachings of the ramayan where so many truths so many wisdom quotes have been mentioned by valmiki muni valmiki muni first and foremost dear devotees in the ramayan itself valmiki muni says that speaking the truth is the highest dharma of human beings because this is the only leg of religion remaining in this particular age valmiki muni says in the ramayan i will re recite please repeat after me ahu satyam hi paramam ahu satyam hi paramam dharmam dharma vido jana आहु सत्यम ही परमम धर्मम इट इज सेड वॉट इज द परम धर्म वॉट इज द हाइएस्ट रिलीजिटी सत्यम ही परमम धर्म धर्म विदो जना दोज हू आर नोवर्स ऑफ रिलीजन दे अंडरस्टैंड दैट द हाइएस्ट रिलीजिटी इज इन स्पीकिंग द ट्रूथ दे आर डिवोट इज दिस इज the direct truth given by valmiki which is applicable in even in this age because today our minds have become complicated with so many forms of untruth that often we are not able to put faith in the simple words of shri ramayan even today according to valmiki muni nothing works as effectively as speaking the plain truth speaking the truth is also described in various other shastras such as manu smriti etc satyam bruyat priyam bruyat ma bruyat satyam apriyam priyam cha nanritam bruyat esha dharma sanatana what is sanatan dharma satyam bruyat speak the truth priyam bruyat speak the pleasing truth मा ब्रूयात सत्यम अप्रियम बट डोंट स्पीक अनप्लेजेंट ट्रूथ स्पीक द ट्रूथ स्पीक द प्लेजेंट ट्रूथ बट एट ऑल पॉइंट्स ऑफ टाइम यू शुड नॉट स्पीक अनप्लेजेंट ट्रूथ प्रियम च नानृतम ब्रूयाद एंड एस्पेशली डोंट स्पीक स्वीट लाइज एश धर्म सनातन दिस एक्चुअली इज विच धर्म सनातन धर्म speaking the truth is one of the fundamental cornerstones of vedic religion the upanishads also say satyam vada speak the truth dharmam chara walk on the path of religiosity so this is one of the fundamental truths dear devotees that is mentioned in all the vedas including ramayana this is the translation the true knowers of religiosity know that satya speaking the truth is the highest form of religiosity furthermore dear devotees the ramayan also tells us that we should not be naive in this world we should understand what is the nature true nature of society and the world there is a very nice quote in the ramayan which tells us about what sort of people actually get ahead in the world 
many of us would like to behave in a very nice and saintly manner but unfortunately this does not help us get ahead in the world the ramayan tells us what is the actual nature of the world this is a statement directly by bhagwan ram please repeat after me atma prashamsinam dushtam दृष्टम विपरिधावकम सर्वोत्सृष्टोत्सृष्टदंडम च लोक सत्कुते नरम लोक सत्कुते नरम विच ह्यूमन बीइंग इज ग्लोरिफाइड बाय सोसाइटी इन जनरल in general society has no vision to understand who which person should be glorified which person should not be glorified so which person does the society actually end up glorifying atma prashamsinam somebody who indulges in self praise somebody who glorifies himself and it says in front of hundreds of people see how great i am atma prashamsinam dushtam somebody who is actually a ruffian in heart drishtam somebody who is very bold in doing anything viparidhavakam and somebody who is running after fame sarvo sarvatro thrishta dandam cha and anybody if tries to become his enemy in his pursuit of name and fame he will definitely try to get revenge on such a person such a person dear devotees is glorified in human society people usually don't notice a saintly person if the saintly person is quiet usually people notice only those people who are jumping up and down trying to proclaim their own glories in front of society this verse dear devotees was spoken in front of samudra the ocean bhagwan ram wanted the ocean to give way to him so that he and his army can pass through the ocean and go to the other side for how many days dear devotees did bhagwan ram pray to the ocean 3 days did the ocean give way to bhagwan ram in 3 days at that point of time before threatening the ocean bhagwan ram had uttered this verse usually because i am not behaving like this person atma prashamsinam i don't behave like this bhagwan ram said i don't speak my own glories i don't beat my own drum i don't give harsh punishments to those who don't listen to me therefore this samudra is not taking me seriously in the ramcharit manas the same fact is specified in the form of a doha bhai bin hoy na priti he says without fear there is actually no love so at that point of time bhagwan ram he takes up his bow and threatens the ocean that i will dry up all of your waters at that point of time the ocean with folded hands comes in front of bhagwan ram and says gives the method of crossing over so this is what bhagwan ram has said about the nature of human society in general chanakya pandit also says in niti shastra that when dealing with the general human society not with devotees in dealing with the general human society one should not always be straight forward one should always have some crookedness and then he gives an example and says that the straight trees are always cut first and the crooked trees are left as it is dear devotees this is what chanakya pandit says in niti shastra when the woodcutter wants to cut trees does the woodcutter cut trees which are straight or trees which are crooked which trees are cut first straight why it's easy to get log of wood out of straight trees but it's very difficult to extract wood out of crooked trees therefore chanakya pandit says it's not always useful to be straight forward in the human society because we might be straight forward but other people in society are not deserving of this straightforwardness so this is the translation of the verse of the ramayan 
people in this world usually respect a person who engages in self glorification who is inherently crooked reckless extremely eager for self promotion and who believes in punishing his opponents this is the type of person who is usually glorified in the society dear devotees the ramayan also gives a caution to all the leaders in the society how many of us dear devotees are working in leading positions in our workplace please raise your hands how many of us have some sort of a leading position in our workplace yes there is one okay anybody else who has worked as a leader yes there is second all right dear devotees in at various points of time in life we may be offered a position of leadership in any particular organization we are working in or it may be leadership of the entire state dear devotees the ramayan gives an important message to all the leaders and what message does it give to all the leaders valmiki muni gives a very important message to people who have become leaders in society i'll sing please repeat after me उपभोक्तम यथावास स्रजो वामृदिताज्यात्भ्रष्ट समर्थक उपभोक्त यथावास दियर डिबोटीस when you wear clothes and you wear them so many times that they have become old what do you do with clothes that have become completely old please tell me ha huh? yeah but do we use it or do we throw it away throw it upabhuktam yatha vasa there is only one destination of clothes that are used that is throwing away srajo va mridita today i have been given a very nice garland does the garland look nice and fresh dear devotees yes after 24 hours after 24 hours who will wear the garland please tell me now to i am wearing <laughs> after the talk i will keep it aside uh, 24 hours will pass mridita sraja that it will become the flowers will fade away then who will wear the garland nobody will wear evam rajyat paribhrasht similarly a person who has fallen away from his position of leadership or kingdom becomes immediately useless samarthopi nirarthaka may be very powerful samartha but as soon as the person gives up leadership position becomes nirarthaka what is the meaning of nirarthaka useless and meaningless dear devotees a person who has lost his kingdom lost his position of leadership immediately loses all power just as clothes which have been worn out are thrown away and garland which is old is thrown away similarly a leader who has become old is also what thrown away is very important for those who are in leadership position because those who are in leadership positions they don't understand for the time being they think that the world is revolving around me and whatever i say will happen and they derive a lot of power and a lot of energy by this thought process that i am the center point of this particular organization or this particular institution but they should remember all leadership positions are like indra i hope you are able to understand how long does indra stay in his position permanently or temporarily and in his position indra may do a lot of mischief but finally after a certain amount of time every indra has to vacate his position and once indra vacates his position nobody will even ask who you were then he may in his old age he says you know what in my days i was so and so 
in the good old days things used to be so nice yeah because i was ruling huh? in the good old days things used to be so nice and now ever since i have left things have fallen out of place so this person doesn't understand basically that is still holding on to the desire for ruling over others and this is something which should not be had in our minds and hearts dear devotees for one person to become a leader there have to be a thousand people who are not leaders do you agree for one person to be a senior in any post or organization there have to be a thousand people who are not seniors do you think that those thousand people who are not seniors they will take it lightly and they will take it easily the fact that they are not seniors and not leaders therefore often in human society those who attain celebrity status are often some of the most hated people in human society you go and see the celebrities you know so called celebrities that are present in the movie industry and you see how much people pry into their private lives how much people get into their private lives and how much criticism they receive over each and every single move that they make even their good qualities are critiqued by people who are envious bhartri hari says at one point of time jadyam hrimati ganyate vrataru chaudambha shuchau kaitavam jadyam hrimati somebody is a little shy huh? people will say useless doesn't do anything doesn't even know how to speak vrataruchau somebody likes to carry out many rules and regulations rituals people say is making a show shure nirgrinata there was some king in history who was very brave there will be some historian who will say he was very cruel munau vimatita somebody becomes a devotee and in general stops interacting with the society people start saying is become crazy now no longer useful for the society any good quality that you get dear devotee there are people who may find fault in that good quality and this is exactly what happens with celebrities also with famous people also with people who have fallen from their position of name and fame so this is the same society which raises you to the standard of being a celebrity will not hesitate to pull you back down once your good days are over and this is very clearly mentioned in the valmiki ramayan the aim of writing this is that there is something beyond celebrity status there is something beyond you know being a leader because there are so many seminars given nowadays on how to become a leader leadership seminars but there are very few seminars given on how to become a follower <laughs> everybody wants to become a leader right how many of us want to become a follower na 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 we all want to go to a leadership seminar acha if everybody becomes a leader then who will become a follower unfortunate fact of the society is everybody wants to become a leader but rarely does somebody want to become a follower everybody wants to become a guru but rarely does somebody want to become a disciple is a guru mile lakh lakh shishya mile ek this is the nature of the world <laughs> guru lakh lakh hai you know what is meaning of guru lakh lakh the, uh, in the marketplace you will find millions of gurus ha ah, but there not not a single disciple is not available <laughs> acha everybody wants to become guru leader and they all want we should have faithful followers but they don't get faithful followers why because they themselves were never trained in a culture of serving under somebody and without being trained in a culture of being serving under somebody they don't understand what is the trouble that a follower or a servant goes through and then they expect our oh, people should become my followers because of my charismatic personality that's not sustainable is it it's not definitely not sustainable therefore dear devotees the ramayan reminds us and this is the translation 
just as clothes that have undergone wear and tear and garlands that have dried out become useless similarly a ruler who has fallen from his rule becomes completely useless in fact in offices when somebody retires from their position on that same day they have to pack all of their things and move out of the office they can't stay even one more day why does anybody know why they have the security escort them out of the office huh? and they get a good uh, retirement package but now no more leadership now you are unqualified to be a leader now the next leader will come just like indra one indra comes thinks that he is the absolute ruler then the time comes another indra and another indra thinks i am the absolute ruler then the time comes then another indra so dear devotees leadership positions are like indra and therefore a sincere person will not take the position of indra very seriously the main part of life is to still execute your bhakti even if we are in leadership positions whatever leadership position in our workplace anywhere in the world if we are in leadership positions we will not become intoxicated of those positions instead we know that the main aim of life is to execute krishna bhakti <coughs> The Ramayana also reminds us of a very important fact and this fact is that often we try to change our nature or we try to change the nature of other people but usually the nature the main elements of nature of a person are fixed at the time of birth usually at the time of birth there is a certain planetary combination which is derived from the influences of karma of previous lives and because of that at the moment of birth a particular person's nature becomes fixed you can see in the astrological chart of a particular person and you will come to know the astrological charts very clearly say this person is slightly rash in decision making you will see the astrological chart say like this that person will be like that throughout their life because that is nature which has been derived since birth and for some other people it will say this person quickly flares up loses temper very quickly irritable person you will see like this in the astrological chart and often this nature does not change unless we have become a devotee and really devoted our life to self transformation the ramayan says for the majority of the society this is what is the truth please sing after me आम्रम चित्वा कुठारेण निंबम परिचरे तु कह यम पयसा सिंचे नैवास्य मधुरो भवे आम्रम amra refers to mango tree dear devotees what is the nature of the fruit of a mango tree is it sweet or bitter let's say you have a sweet mango tree in your courtyard and you water that sweet mango tree with bitter water still at the end of the day because it is a mango tree the fruit will be what sweet why but i am watering it with bitter water so the fruit should be bitter right yes or no why ah it's the nature of the mango tree no matter even if you irrigate it with bitter water karela water still it will give you sweet mango chitwa kuthare na now today you cut it with an axe chop it down with an axe and nimbam you plant a neem tree there paricharetuka now which person will say payasa sinchen now you have planted a neem tree and now you put milk sweet milk at its roots 
dear devotees, what fruit are you going to get from the neem tree? Bitter. I say, this is the nature of the world. Naivasya maduro bhavet. No matter. Bhuyo pisikta payasa gritena na nimba tatvam katutam jahati. Even if you profusely irrigate it with ghee and milk and sweet rice, neem tree is not going to become sweet. I say. So, dear devotee, this is nature of the world. This is nature of the most of the people of this world. That unless they become devotees, their essential nature never changes. This is mentioned here in Ramayana by Valmiki Muni. Having chopped off a mango tree using an axe, who will plant and serve a bitter neem tree in its place? Even if someone nourishes such a neem tree with profuse waters, it will never become sweet. So then what should we do with our essential nature? Dear devotees, even after becoming devotees, some of us might have noticed many parts of our nature have not changed. How many of us agree that even after becoming devotees, some parts of our nature have not changed? Please raise your hands. Hmm. Why? Because some of us are mango trees, some of us are neem trees. That is what we were born to be. So what do we do with this nature that is not going to change? So there is a very nice verse in the Srimad Bhagavatam 11th Canto. Many of us might have heard this verse. It is a popular verse often sung in India. Kāyena vācha manasendri airva buddhyātmanāvānu sritasvabhāvāt karomi yat yat sakalam parasmai narayanāyeti samarpayami Kāyena, through my body, vacha, through my speech, manasa, through my mind, indriya, through all my senses, buddhya, atmana, through my intelligence and myself, va anusrita svabhavat, and through the nature that I have acquired from previous births. Karomi yat yat, what all I do, sakalam, all of that, parasmai narayanayeti, Samarpayami, I offer to the Supreme Personality of Godhead Bhagavan Narayan. I offer my nature unto Him. I hope you are able to understand. So whatever nature we are born with, we should offer our nature and tendencies unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead Shri Bhagavan. I hope you are able to understand because it is impossible to change certain aspects of our nature. Some individuals will feel that I cannot get rid of my anger. Some individuals will feel, I cannot get rid of my miserliness, kanjuspana. Some individuals will feel, I can't get rid of my tendency to spend excessive money. Whatever tendencies we have acquired in this life, we should, at the end of the day, we should pray to Bhagwan and say, Bhagwan, this is part of my nature. I offer to you all my activities that I have committed according to my nature. In Sanskrit, there is a name to this. It is called Arop Siddha Bhakti. Arop Siddha Bhakti means whatever activities you do, you put an allegation, an Arop. Bhagwan, I offer it to you. This type of Bhakti, Sri Jiva Goswami says, is known as which Bhakti? Arop Siddha Bhakti. <coughs> Dear devotees, the Ramayana also specifies the power of pure devotional service and it is said in the Ramayana that even Bhagwan is defeated in front of pure bhakti or pure devotional service. This verse occurs at the end of the war when everybody comes back to Ayodhya and this is a verse uttered by Sri Ram. I will sing, please repeat after me. Esha Sarvasva Bhutastu Parishvango Hanumata Maya Kalami Mamprapya Dattastasya Mahatmanaha 
after everybody has returned to ayodhya <laughs> bhagwan ram is giving thanks to everybody and he is giving gifts to everybody vibhishan ends up getting a gift from bhagwan ram what gift did vibhishan get from bhagwan ram the entire lanka is vibhishan so so lanka is the gift for vibhishan sugriv had also gotten a gift from bhagwan ram at the very beginning of their friendship what gift did sugriv get he got his own kingdom because bali was slaughtered by bhagwan ram similarly everybody is given some gift finally bhagwan ram's attention turns towards one person and which person dear devotees hanuman now what gift should be given to hanuman dear devotees please tell me for all that hanuman has done for bhagwan it all began at that hill rishyamukh parvat where hanuman acted as the messenger of sugriv he disguised himself and came in front of bhagwan ram and you know what hanuman had done for the first time when he had met bhagwan ram the exact thing that is mentioned in bhagavad gita for finding a guru tad vidhi pranipate na pari prashne na sevaya Hanuman came disguised in front of Bhagwan Ram. First, he did pranipat, pranam, uh, and then pari prashna. He asked, "Who are you? Where have you come from? What is your name?" And then, when he came to understand that this is my Lord, life after life, immediately sevaya. Immediately, he started rendering service to Bhagwan Ram. He is the ideal example of that verse. Tad vidhi pranipate na. First, offer pranams. hari prashne na then ask relevant questions and immediately sevaya so from that point onwards till the end of the war hanuman rendered so many services and he took so many difficulties out of the entire monkey army there was only one who was capable of crossing over the ocean only one was capable and who was that hanuman nobody else could have done it acha when lakshman had fallen unconscious due to the attack of meghnath and only a single night was remaining for lakshman to survive the devotees in a single night who got sanjeevani for lakshman hanuman in getting that sanjeevani Hanuman had to face so many difficulties that Kal Nemi he tried to stop Hanuman. Also, it is described in some Ramayans that when he went over Ayodhya, the people go of Ayodhya got afraid and you know Bharat himself shot an arrow at him. Dear devotees, even after all of this. Hanuman rendered immense service to Bhagwan Sri Ram, and dear devotees, at the risk of personal life, because Hanuman's tail was set on fire in Lanka, even that burning body part he used in the service of Bhagwan, dear devotees. Acha, now please tell me what gift should be given to Hanuman? Everybody gets a gift. What gift should be given to Hanuman? Huh? I didn't hear. My. Okay. No, no. What gift should Bhagwan Ram give to Hanuman? wow <laughs> lord ram embraced him he gave him a hug and that's the biggest gift that he got <laughs> really <laughs> mata ji huh? is this is this the gift okay <laughs> what you are saying sneha wali mata ji huh? he got a hug from bhagwan ram but bhagwan ram 
can give so much more. He can give so much more. But Hanuman is such a devotee, he has no use remaining for anything material in this world. In some versions of Ramayana, Bhagwan Ram gives a pearl necklace to Hanuman. He gives a pearl necklace to Hanuman. <laughs> Hanuman, this is a gift for you. <laughs> Hanuman, <laughs> at that point of time, he, he starts looking at the pearl necklace and he manifests his monkey nature. Uh, just to show Bhagwan Ram that this is not what I want. <laughs> he starts biting on the pearls of the... Huh? Are it, uh, I can't even eat this. What sort of fruit is this? Huh? What do I do with this? So... <laughs> Hanuman is never going to get a kingdom. Hanuman is not going to become a king of any particular place. Hanuman is not even going to get a village. Hanuman won't e doesn't even have a house of himself, a fixed place of residence for himself. Can't Bhagwan Ram give Hanuman at least one house in Ayodhya? Yes or no, dear devotees? Huh? But Bhagwan Ram knows. <laughs> This is a pakka devotee. Whatever material I give him, any material opulence I give him, he has no use for it. This personality is beyond material enjoyment. He is beyond material enjoyment. He is already beyond material enjoyment. There is only He is only living for one purpose. That is my seva. At this point of time, dear devotees, Bhagwan is defeated by the devotee. Because Bhagwan has said big, big promises in Bhagavad Gita is given. I'll re recite the verse. Please recite along with me. Ye yatha maam prapadyante tams tathaiva bhajam yaham. Ye yatha maam prapadyante. As devotees worship me, I reciprocate accordingly. Achha. So, Bhagwan Ram, <laughs> what reciprocation have you done with Hanuman? Huh? Did you take any life risk for Hanuman? Did Bhagwan Ram take a life risk for Hanuman like Hanuman took? No. Did Bhagwan Ram bring a life saving medicine like Sanjeevani for Hanuman? No. Did Bhagwan Ram help in locating a very near and dear relative just as Hanuman had helped in locating Sita? No. Then what did Bhagwan Ram give to Hanuman? This is the point at which Bhagwan Ram says, I am defeated. And he says, Esha Sarvasva Bhutastu Parishwango Hanumataha. This Parishwanga, this embrace that I am giving to Hanuman, <laughs> this is all that I can offer. Maya Kalam Imam Prapya. Now at this point of time, Dattas Tasya Mahatmana is such a Mahatma that actually there is nothing that I am defeated. I, ca I cannot give anything to this particular personality. So dear devotees, the devotee is able to conquer even Bhagavan. And the devotee is able to prove the words of Bhagavan wrong. Many devotees have proved the words of Bhagavan as incorrect. One of them being Bhishma Dev. Because Bhishma Dev proved Krishna's words as incorrect. What vow had Krishna taken before the war of Mahabharat? Yeah, I'll not pick up any weapon. Didn't Bhishma Bitama force Krishna to break his vow? Yes. But that is the power of being a devotee. You end up conquering even Sri Bhagavan. <coughs> this is the translation. This embrace of mine is all that I can offer to this great soul Hanuman. For this is the only thing I have right now. Are you, no, no, Bhagwan Ram, you have your entire kingdom right now. <laughs> no, no. This is the only thing worthy of offering which Hanuman will accept unconditionally from me right now. So dear devotees, when Bhagwan Ram embraced Sri Hanuman, it is an indication, a heart-to-heart -heart connection and an indication that since both of our hearts have touched, 
therefore i will always stay within your heart dear devotees this is bhagwan ram's hidden indication hanuman i will always stay within your heart and dear devotees when bhagwan stays in somebody's heart bhagwan actually has to render service to that person because it is not easy to stay 24 hours inside the heart of a person you know that is actually the service that bhagwan performs usually it is parmatma who is sitting in everybody's heart shirodaka shai vishnu but in hanuman's heart it is not shirodaka shai vishnu <laughs> who is sitting in hanuman's heart bhagwan ram himself is sitting so that function was taken over by bhagwan ram at that particular point of time the ramayan also tells us that the greatest sin in this world is to be ungrateful towards others there is a very nice verse in the ramayan and this verse is uttered by none other than lakshman and please repeat after me brahmagne cha sura pe cha chore bhagna vrate tatha nishkratar vihita loke कृतघ्ने नीति देर इज अ इंटरेस्टिंग हिस्ट्री बिहाइंड दिस वर्स भगवान राम एंड सुग्रीव बिकेम फ्रेंड्स बट देअर फ्रेंडशिप वॉज कंडीशनल फ्रेंडशिप दे डिडेंट बिकम अनकंडीशनल फ्रेंड्स बोथ ऑफ देम हैड वन कंडीशन फ्रॉम ईच साइड वॉट डिड सुग्रीव एक्सपेक्ट भगवान राम टू डू एज पार्ट ऑफ द फ्रेंडशिप हाँ टू गेट हिज किंगडम बैक and what did ram expect from sugriv as part of the friendship uh, to send his uh, search parties to locate sita devi so this was conditional friendship and in front of fire both of them solemnized their conditional friendship and did bhagwan ram fulfill his part of the vow yes he fulfilled his part of the vow immediately in a few days sugriv became the king of the kingdom and bali was killed now it is whose chance whose turn to fulfill his part of the promise sugriv but sugriv said uh, bhagwan actually chaturmas is going on four months of rainy season you know if i send out a search party there is so much mud everywhere i don't know if they'll be able to function properly in this weather can we wait for four months and let the rainy season get over and then i send out a search party Bhagwan Ram simple hearted in nature Bhagwan Ram says all right dear devotees Bhagwan Ram has to endure four months of additional separation from Sita Devi just because Sugriv is not able to send out his search party because chaturmas four months of rainy season are going on now in these four months what does Sugriv do does anybody know what Sugriv does in these four months हाँ प्योर डिवोशनल सर्विस अच्छा अच्छा गेट अप एवरी मॉर्निंग एट थ्री थर्टी कम टू मंगल आरती ए चैन सिक्सटीन राउंड्स एंड फॉलो फॉर रेगुलेटिव प्रिंसिपल्स नो इन दैट दैट्स नॉट फॉर सुग्रीव डज एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सुग्रीव हैज गॉटन हिज किंगडम बैग सो सुग्रीव इज रबिंग हिज हैंड्स एंड सुग्रीव एंड्स अ ब्रेकिंग ऑल फोर रेगुलेटिव प्रिंसिपल्स इन द फोर मंथ्स ऑफ चातुर्मास Sugriv takes Bali's wife as his own wife. Tara is Bali's wife, and Sugriv forcibly forces Tara to become his own wife. Sugriv has his own wife, but then Sugriv also takes Bali's wife as his own wife. And for four months, Sugriv breaks all the regulatory principles, although he knows that Bhagwan Ram is just in the forest nearby. Sugriv is intoxicated. Four months passed, and Sugriv is still intoxicated. Sugriv now doesn't remember anything. So Ram starts saying, "Arey, four months have passed. Sugriv, I d- I don't know what is happening with Sugriv." Lakshman says, "I know what is happening with Sugriv. I'll fix the matter today." <laughs> 
so he comes at the door of sugriv and he twangs his bow loudly he said dhanush tankar and so wherever he is he falls down from his asan sugriv at that point of time he says so, so the guptachar the spies come and tell him are lakshman is coming in great anger so what sugriv does is sugriv sends his wife before him and his wife goes and asks uh, lakshman uh, what happened you don't look very happy today eh? lakshman say get out of the way i know all of your tactics send that monkey first eh? and then finally sugriv falls at the feet of lakshman at that time lakshman utters this verse brahmagnecha a person who has killed a brahmana surapecha a person who has drunk alcohol chore a person who has stolen something bhagnavrate and a person who has voluntarily broken a vow that they took for all these people nishkritir there is some atonement mentioned in shastra but kritagne there is no atonement mentioned in shastra for ungrateful person sugriv for all these sins there is atonement in shastra brahmagne you kill a brahmana there is atonement given in shastra surape one of the mahapatak one of the great fall downs mentioned in shastra is to drink alcohol chore somebody who has stolen gold or stolen valuables for all these people there is atonement in shastra but there is no atonement for one person for which person kritagna somebody who is ungrateful this is the translation there are atonements suggested in scriptures for a person who kills a brahmana a person who drinks alcohol who steals wealth who willingly breaks a vow however there is no atonement anywhere in shastra for somebody who is ungrateful this reminds us dear devotees of the eternal truth because ramayan is very expert in giving the actual truth that many of us behave in most ungrateful ways after our purpose has been served and therefore such behavior attracts a lot of negative reaction the shastra says प्रथम वयसि पीत तोयमल स्मर शिसी निहित भारा नारिकलाण ददति जलम नल्पा स्वादुमा जीवित नि कृतमुपकार साधव विस्मर इट गिव्स द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ कोकोनट ट्री pratham avayasi pitam when the coconut tree was a young sapling tiny sapling the coconut tree remembers what does it remember toyam alpam smaranta somebody gave me little water it remembers somebody fed me little water and in gratitude the coconut tree does something shirasi ni hita bhara on its head it carries for its entire life a big load what load does the coconut tree carry on its head narikela naranam of coconuts and those coconuts are filled with something what are the coconuts filled with water not only water sweet water dadatu jalam nalpa swaduma jivitantam till the end of his life because somebody in his childhood gave him little water remembering that the coconut tree decides to return back sweet water throughout its life their devotees nai kritam upakaram sadavo vismaranti actual sadhus are those who never forget even a tiny bit of favor that was rendered unto them and most ungrateful people are those who immediately forget any favor that was committed unto them and such ungrateful people there is no atonement in shastra the only atonement is that in their next life they have to suffer 10 times the loss that they have caused unto others you know sometimes you come across people who are crying oh i lost i invested so much money and suddenly everything was lost how many of us have come across such people hmm? i put so much wealth so much effort and suddenly all of it became zero right 
Hmm. There is a good reason. It doesn't become zero automatically. <laughs> there is a seed in the past. <laughs> and the seed in the past is Kritagnata. That you have behaved most ungratefully towards somebody in the past. So sometimes, you know, in India, there are people who act as servants. They come, uh, come to home and they clean the utensils and they wipe the floor and etc. So sometimes, I have seen in India, sometimes a servant come and say, oh, there is a marriage, my son's marriage is going to take place, my daughter's marriage is going to take place. I need some money for arranging the marriage. Can you kindly, you know, give me some money? And there are some most ungrateful people. And they deny at that point of time and instead humiliate the servants. Their devotees, such people are looking forward to a very dark future. Never become ungrateful in life. Never ever. Even if little bit of favor is done unto us, we should publicly acknowledge that favor. So that is what the Ramayan constantly teaches us. Dear devotees, the final lesson that Ramayana teaches us is that if we are the leader, then we should truly act as the shelter. Please repeat after me. Durbalasya Tvanathasya Raja Bhavati Vaibalam Raja Balam, Raja is the strength, the leader is the strength of whom Durbalasya Anathasya, somebody who is weak and somebody who has no supporter. Somebody who has no supporter, the ruler or the leader has to become their support. Often in leadership position, we uh, compromise our, you know, our integrity. We are supposed to give shelter to those who are very weak and helpless and who are looking up to us. That this person will help us. Often leaders initially pretend to help. Yes, yes, I will help you. Yes, I will definitely help you. Yes, I will take care of you. And later they behave in a most sly and cunning manner and then cheat the person who had come to them for shelter. So, Durbalasya Tvanathasya Raja Bhavati Vai Balam. Actually, the king is supposed to be the Balam, the strength of those who don't have any strength of their own. So, dear devotees, the king is supposed to take sides with you know, in modern day, they call the underdog in the society who has been wronged. I hope you are able to understand. Huh? The king is supposed to take sides with the underdog in the society who has been wronged. Instead, if the king starts taking or the leader starts taking sides with only powerful people because I want powerful connections. So, to ho gaya, fir Ander Nagri Chaupat Raja. You know, you might have heard, huh? Ander Nagri Chaupat Raja. This is what Kaliyuga is. So that is not what we should be. This is the translation. The king is the strength of the weak and helpless. So dear devotees, I pray that since Ram Naomi happened just a few days ago, I pray that all of us are blessed with Ramayan Niti, the wisdom of Sri Ramayan, and that all this wisdom that Valmiki Muni has given in his Ramayan, it comes unto all of us, dear devotees. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda ki jai. Nitai Gaur Premanande Hari 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 Hari. Hare Krishna. Sure. So we can have one or two questions. Yeah, we can have one or two questions uh, before we start our uh, activities. Yeah. Who who wants to ask a question? Prabhu, is the mic working? I'm just yeah, yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's working. Uh, so anybody wants to ask a question, please raise your hands. You ha we have time for one or two questions. Krishna Prabhuji. So you mentioned about uh, the innate nature uh, because we carry from uh, the previous uh, Janmas and then only when we surrender. So my question is 
after surrendering would we get rid of that in the same lifetime or it's going to be taken care in the future or as soon as i'm uh, taking devotional service or is it going to keep improving see in the brahma samhita it is said karmani nirdahati kintu cha bhakti bhajam karmas are taken care of by those who in the engage in devotional service but karmas are of different types the most stubborn of them is prarabd karma that which is there in this particular life which is manifesting itself that is the most stubborn variety of karma if all prarabdha karma is destroyed actually our body will be destroyed i hope you are able to understand because this body is made out of which variety of karma prarabdha karma if bhagwan destroys all prarabdha karma then actually this body will also be destroyed therefore not all prarabdha karma is destroyed a little thin layer of prarabdha karma still remains so that the devotee can at least maintain their body but bhakti has the potency to nullify the negative characters negative traits negative characteristics of our personality so for example some person is very angry bhakti has the potency to make them sober enough so that they don't fall to anger so easily so easily maybe once in a while they may still fall to anger but usually they'll not fall if somebody is very greedy bhakti has the potency to make them mature enough to not act in a greedy manner so that potency bhakti has that the negative character traits may be minimized to a point where they become harmless for the sadhaka and once you attain your perfected spiritual body then so you have a different nature altogether all right thank you very much hari krishna thank you ma <coughs> Thank you again, Prabhu Ji. And uh, small announcement: we have uh, continuation of this uh, class uh, tomorrow at uh, one of the devotees' house in Bellevue. So please come. And thank you so much again, Prabhu Ji, for such a wonderful class. Uh, and sail all of us through the uh, various aspects of the Rama and Niti. Um, so we will. Uh, if anybody, sorry. if anybody wants to come to the talk tomorrow, please contact Prabhu Ji. You can yeah. get the address yeah, from yeah. him. So we'll be uh, posting the flyer on uh, on the Purushottam group, and uh, so that you will have address. Yeah. If uh, no one has questions, so we can proceed our arti now. Hare Krishna. Yes, Krishna. Yes. Uh, Namaste, Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna. Um, the way i see it it might be wrong but the way i see it uh, on one side we have ram uh, who followed on the principles in you know, everything it has to be as per the book and as we know he even gave up uh, mata c mata sita even though we all know she was right just to ensure that there is no distraction in in his kingdom th that's what at least i understand he had to give up his wife uh, but on the other hand we have krishna uh, who did not exactly follow the book right whether to kill uh, bhishma pita mahar dronachary everyone right he ensured that for the overall good good of the uh, uh, you know uh, uh, society he had to kill them somehow right even uh, against the principles so which one is you uh, know which one should we follow uh, mm -hmm. which is the right right path acha okay so on one side there is bhagwan ram who is the epitome of morality and uh, following the law book to the very last letter and on the other side we have bhagwan krishna who from frequently breaks the rules from time to time in order to ensure that you know the higher good of his devotees is taken care of which one should we follow there is a reason why we have multiple role models in society Bhagwan Ram is the role model for those who want to become fully moralistic and Bhagwan Krishna is the role model for those who want to become little pragmatic in nature if we would have only one role model what would the other set of people do i said since we have all types of people in society so we have all types of role models depending on whom one is attracted to more one should select a role model but Krishna you cannot follow as it is Krishna, you have to follow through Shrimad Bhagavatam. You can't imitate the character of Sri Krishna, who will marry sixteen thousand. You know, but Bhagwan Ram, you can follow as it is. So you can directly imitate the character of Lord Ram without any danger. But Sri Krishna's character, you can't imitate as it is. You need the guidance of a guru to do that. So 
so i hope that satisfies your query because there are different types of people in society so you need different role models all right thank you very much hari krishna <laughs> जय प्रभु पद जय प्रभु पद प्रभु पद जय प्रभु पद Ki ba ba 
श्रीआचन गौराचा रत्न सिंहासन बशीचन गौराचान रत्न सिंह बहु कोटी 
चंद्रजिने बदान उजाल बाबो
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare
भक्ति चंद्र भगवान की जय भक्त प्रहलाद महाराज की जय श्री प्रभुपाद की जय गोप्रेमानंद Hare Krishna, everyone. Thanks for coming to the Sunday feast and kirtan. So we will be having a dance. This is like a medley of few dances from the youth to all the mata jis. Uh, again, glorifying Lord Rama. So please hang around for the dance. We are going to start soon. Sandeep Prabhu, can you uh, project the sponsor list? No, did they already announce the sponsor list? No. Right? Okay, maybe we'll do it later. Okay, we'll start with the dance then. So we have uh, Sunday feast sponsors. I'll make a quick announcement before we start the dance. So we have Kanav Gupta for Sri Ram Navami. Thank you very much, Mr. Kanav. Nishan Dwaj for the free food truck. Again, our free food truck runs, does a five days run uh, throughout the entire city. So if you can sponsor, it's about $250 per, sp per sponsorship. Uh, Shilpa and Swati Kataria on the auspicious occasion of Sri Ram Navami. Hari Bol. Pradyumna Prabhu in remem remembrance of his father. And finally, Rethi Pillai again sponsoring for the free food truck. So if you want to volunteer or if you want to sponsor for any of the activities that we do in the temple, please uh, go to the front desk and you know they have all the details so with that we'll start the dance program Hare Krishna. So I request everyone to scoot forward because there are a lot of people who are standing in the back. It will be good if they can also sit down and enjoy the program. So folks who are sitting in the front, please scoot forward. We are going to start very shortly. Thank you. So there are, I think there are a total of six dances. I don't have the details of what those dances are, but the dance will speak for themselves.
सोर Hare Krishna. So the first uh, first piece will be a dance by the little kids. Again, choreographed by Shweta Mataji. Sandeep Prabhu, number one. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Prabhu ji, Sandeep Prabhu, just wait. Sandeep Prabhu, wait. Ab yahan se mujhe. Hari bol. So the people who are sitting in the front, uh, I know you are very, you want to take the videos, but if you take the videos and hold the phones very high, folks in the back are not able to see. So if you want to take videos of any of the items, please move to the right side. That would give us opportunity for the folks sitting in the back to see.
Hare Krishna, everyone. Uh, for the occasion of Ram Nombi, we'll be offering a few dances to Lord Ram. The first group that we'll start with is um, by these girls who are four to five years old, and they've been only been learning Bharatanatyam from me for the last couple months. So please encourage them. And then after... <laughs> And then after that, we'll be going on to a couple other performances, and then we'll end with the Mataji's dance. Thank you.
बोलो सियावर राम चंद्र की जय पवन पुत्र हनुमान की जय राम कले के नाम करेंगे चलो राम का काम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम पुण्य का धाम बोलो बोलो रामचंद्र की जय सियावर रामचंद्र की जय बोलो बोलो रामचंद्र की जय सियावर रामचंद्र की जय श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय सागर या भव सागर हो जल सागर या भव सागर हो राम ने पार कराया बोलो बोलो रामचंद्र की जय सियावर रामचंद्र की जय बोलो बोलो रामचंद्र की जय सियावर रामचंद्र की जय श्री राम जय राम जय जय शक्ति और मर्यादा स्वयं धर्म है राम राम नाम पाकर तैरे हैं सागर पर पाशा राम नाम की शक्ति से ही लंका पर उड़ान राम नाम की शक्ति से ही लंका पर उड़ान बोलो बोलो राम चंद्र की जय सियावर राम चंद्र की जय बोलो बोलो राम चंद्र की जय सियावर राम चंद्र की जय अगणित राक्षस वीर दशानन कोई न टिक पाया बोलो बोलो रामचंद्र की जय सियावर रामचंद्र की जय बोलो बोलो रामचंद्र की जय सियावर रामचंद्र की जय बोलो बोलो रामचंद्र की जय सियावर रामचंद्र की जय बोलो बोलो रामचंद्र की जय सियावर रामचंद्र की जय बोलो बोलो रामचंद्र की जय सियावर रामचंद्र की जय बोलो बोलो रामचंद्र की जय सियावर जय सिया राम while the next group sets up a quick announcement on the upcoming visits so currently visiting us is ajj hari parshad prabhu uh, he is actually doing classes in uh, vcc the next week will be chaitanya charan prabhu following him will be gauranga chandra prabhu in the first week of may and then dwarika dish prabhu will also be visiting us the second and fourth 
So please uh, be on the lookout in the Purushottam WhatsApp group or Facebook and we will let you know about the timings of the different classes and the events that's happening. Hare Krishna.
So we have one final dance. I think I'm going to wrap up after that. But before and while they set up again, thank you very much for all the Sunday fee sponsors. If you want to sponsor any fees, please uh, check in the front desk ground, uh, downstairs. And this could be for any occasion, for your friend, family, or for the community at large. Hare Krishna. से खुशी ये छुपाए राम आएंगे कुछ समझ न पाए कहां भूल बिछाए राम आएंगे नैना भीगे भीगे जाए कैसे खुशी ये छुपाए राम आएंगे कुछ समझ न पाए कहां भूल बिछाए राम आएंगे जैसे शगुन मनाए राम आएंगे मैं ना भीगे भीगे जाए कैसे खुशी ये छुपाए राम आएंगे कभी ढोल बजाए कभी द्वार सजाए राम आएंगे कुछ समझ ना पाए कहाँ दीप जलाए राम आएंगे साथ
जैसे शगुन मनाए राम आएंगे नैना भीगे भीगे जाए कैसे खुशी छुपाए राम आएंगे कभी ढोल बजाए कभी द्वार सजाए राम आएंगे कुछ समझ न पाए का दीप जलाए राम आएंगे Thank you very much to all the participants and Preeti for uh, choreographing everything. Again, thank you very much for this great offering to Sri Ram. So with that, we wrap up our Sunday feast and kirtan. And we have an open mic. If anybody wants to do any kirtan, you know, feel free to do it. Okay, thank you very much for coming. Hare Krishna. <laughs>